Takes on Takes. Subbing in our producer, Ben. A lot to talk about week three going into week four. What do you got for us? All right. First one, Antonio Pierce uh, had some interesting words in his postgame presser following the loss to the Panthers. He said, I think as the game went on, I don't think it was the team. I think there was definitely some individuals that made business decisions and will make business decisions going forward as well. So who, which players was he talking about? And do you think there's some business decisions that need to be made? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of Raiders, but I'm, I've said this already this week. I'm very disappointed in Devontae Adams, who wanted to be there. And I know maybe it was a little bait and switch because that's where he's uh, maybe from. Maybe a little bit of bait and I, switch. I just, you're, you're, the, you're the best player on the team, I guess, outside of Crosby. There's no quarterback leadership right now. Minshew is a journeyman with a defensive-minded coach. And you're breaking Wedding Crashers rule number six, drawing attention to yourself in a negative way. Every third possession on the sideline. And what are we doing? You're handsomely paid. You're a leader on the team. You asked to be here, and now and now we're, we're upset? You can't do that. And Antonio Pierce is a Super Bowl champion and a true leader of men, defensively speaking. Ain't going to let that fly. I'm looking straight at DA, and I'm saying, if you don't want to be here, just leave then. Just leave. Yeah, I mean, I think it's an interesting point to say business decision. But what what were we expecting from Devontae Adams coming into the year? That's why I know I never – I said going into this year by week eight that Max Crosby and D.A. would be looking to move because there's going to be nothing going on in Vegas. They still have juice left. Crosby's excited best. to be there, though. He's wearing a Minshew quarterback shirt. He's gassing up his guy. D.A.'s literally on the sideline. As the leader, sulking. Do you do we not realize? And it goes back to the stat of star wide receiver not conducive to a Super Bowl champion. I get it; they're not that competitive right now. But you just beat the Ravens in a double digit comeback the following week, previous week, and and we're this hot again. I, I mean, I just don't know if he knows. As a guy, well, he's, I think he's in his thirties now. People are looking at you on this team, and, and your body language is affecting the no sideline doubt. flat out. And he, I mean, he, and he did this last year when they were going through different quarterbacks and figuring out who was going to be the guy going forward. To go back to your point off the top, a little bit of bait and switch. Well, Jimmy G it, and McDaniels. Well, no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. He went there to play, to play with Derek Carr, period, end of story. Fresno, Fresno State. Fresno connection, sure, sure. that's my guy. You then move off my guy. But he wanted it, did he not? Who? I believe D.A. was not happy with Derek Carr. Well, Derek Carr is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying we're dealing. It's just so like, it's, well, it's just like he seems to be upset with anyone but 1-2 as his quarterback. Aaron Rodgers, who's nowhere to be found. Well, yeah, I think it's also, that's something to be said when you're coming off a guy like Aaron Rodgers. Probably. And then the following year, the team that gives you money, you're like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting paid now. And I get to go team up with Derek Carr, my old buddy. I can deal with that. Now the money is, you know, I'm already paid. And right. now my guy that I was supposed to team up with is gone. And do we know Antonio? Maybe he doesn't think Antonio Pierce can lead the guys like a lot of others do. He's inside the building day to day. I get what you're saying, though. Like, if you're going to be there, you're the guy that people are going to look to. But overall, it's probably free Devontae Adams and move on and get him to a contender yeah. to where it's not a sour apple. In the, I, I in the think it, I think you ha you're at the point where you might have to move off him. Is it sour apple or sour sour grapes? Sour grapes. I know, I'm bloated. They are sour I'm apples not, though. I'm bloated. I'm not eating anything. <laughs> All right, let's move to All right, next uh, one. Let's move to what we thought was a sour apple. Uh, Justin Fields and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, so three and zero. Best best. So hold on. If they're the if that's the best division. In football, the AFC North, <laughs> and they're three and zero. Are they the, the best team in the league? No, they're not even the best team in the division right now. Okay, continue. Well, all right. So Romo and Nance, <laughs> who were on the call for that game, uh, towards the end of the game, Romo asked the question: "Is this the biggest win of Justin Fields' career?" And Nance said, "Yeah, you got to think." And a little few seconds later, Romo essentially was saying, "This might be the steal of the off season. Justin Fields going to the Steelers." So, thoughts to the former. Fan of Justin Fields and the yeah. the, the band. I mean, yeah, let's go to the Bears Steelers. fan. How many, how many big fan, wins? Current fan of Justin Fields. I've I said it very clearly. I'll be rooting for Justin Fields. I hope he goes to Pittsburgh and wins the MVP. 
I, I said that out loud. So I'm rooting for Justin Fields. I want him biggest to win. Biggest win, though, of his career. No, it's not his biggest win in his career. What is the biggest win of his career? Uh, um, he, has, he doesn't have one. I, he doesn't have a big win in the pros. He won week three at home against the Chargers, his biggest win of his career. No, it's not. It's it's a nothing burger. It's a win. That's it. There was that it's, rainy game against the Niners week one. That was really fun. Yeah, that was a big win. Like, there's, I mean, he's had All right. decent wins in Chicago. This is another decent win. This isn't the biggest win of his career. Like, <laughs> no, man, it's, it's a win. I mean, Chargers came in as the number one defense in the league. Only through two games, coming off a Panthers win, but they just replaced the starting quarterback the previous week. So I, Fields has also taken excellent care of the football here, and that's a big part of it. I mean, 73% completion percentage, first time he's won three dubs in a row, only one blemish, and, and he's running the rock. Yeah, threw a couple balls over the middle. The big knock on Justin Fields is he can only go left or he can only go right, and he mostly wanted to go left. What is he, Zoolander? Well, but I'm saying just like his mechanics, and he's more comfortable going to one one side of the field. He went over the middle twice for big completions. One was a touchdown. All right. In a, in a game that needed. All right. So not a huge stretch. win, but a big win. Staple win. Staple win. All right. This one's absurd. Throw this out here. Yeah, so this real, is... just quick reactions right here. This is from at Dom Claire. Uh, this went viral. On Twitter or X X uh, on a uh, oh, on Sunday, <laughs> yeah, it is Twitter. So <laughs> at Tom Clare, he said, "Sam Darnold is younger than Joe Burrow." I repeat, Sam Darnold is younger than Joe Burrow. Shocking! I did not know that. Perplexing. I, I just didn't realize that Sam Darnold was so young coming out, and I knew we know Joe Burrow transferred Ohio State to LSU, won the Natty, won the Heisman. He actually participated in quite a bit games in college i still didn't realize that they were the same age joe, i thought sam donald was 30 years old for sure joe burrow's so old he's going through midlife crisis right now <laughs> this man doesn't even know who he is i i you seen the memes i don't need to talk about him it's true. he looks a little bit out of sorts this is the thing about that stuff painting your nails dyeing your hair when you're winning it's awesome it's phenomenal. Joe Shiesty, wear the Cartiers, dye your hair, do whatever you want. If you're losing. As soon as you start losing, he's lost in life. He's still what 50 he mil doing? paid. He doesn't know what's happening. That's so do difference. we, as, a, as an age thing, Donald to New York, is that a pass? Do we give him a pass? He was that young coming to the Big Apple. It's a lot for a young man. No, you don't get passes in life, but it was a what? tough situation. You don't get passes in life. You pay for everything. Justin Fields got a pass in Chicago. No, he paid for it by having to start over in Pittsburgh and potentially he he's he's a not he's a hamstring away from Russell. Not <laughs> hamstring he play. He was gonna pay for that. He's getting ready to sit the whole I game. think he was gonna win that job. The job he announced that Russell was gonna start and Russell pulled up. I meant in, inevitably he was gonna win well, the job. Yeah, so I mean but that, you never know that, right? So like that's him paying for that. So, so are we sitting here saying Darnold is got just as long of a shelf life as Burrow potentially could have? We're Kevin, just noticing the age. Next. I <laughs> know. Oh, that's it. That's it for takes on takes. That's it for takes on takes. Takes all year. Kevin O'Connell, Sam Donald. Pro Bowl. 